Welcome back to stockandtroutfishing.com. I'd like to talk uh, briefly or do a real quick demo on the uh, slam and jig rig where we're tying the crappie jigs onto the main line using a uh, sabiki style. Okay, to uh, make that uh, the uh, slam and jig rig where we tie it sabiki style, the crappie jigs onto the main line. Here's the main line we use, 30 pound test. And then uh, we have 20 pound test. Also has some crazy glue or super glue. And then uh, a crappie jig. In the case of the crappie jig, we'll start things out with taking some of the super glue and applying it to this portion of the uh, crappie jig just to make it uh, last a little bit longer, courtesy of a tip that we learned from uh, Texas Fishing Forum, uh, Tarpon Ply. And then uh, we'll put in some uh, line about a foot long or so of the uh, crappie jig and just use a improved clinch knot here. Whatever your favorite knot is uh, will work. Uh, in the case of the slab, I'm just going to use uh, this slab here, and it's been tied to uh, the 20-pound uh, section of line. And in this case, it's about a foot of or two uh, is what we'll start out with, and then we'll go with about uh, three feet of the 30-pound uh, test line and attach it uh, the two lines together using a uni knot, and then. Uh, use our uh, slab and jig rig so it'll be on the bottom and then in the case of the slab being on the bottom and then the crappie jig will be set up just like this so about maybe a couple of inches and what happens is, is when it moves through the water uh, this stays untangled uh, fairly nicely and the way we tie it is we'll set one about Ooh, about 18 inches or so from the uh, slab and then the next one up will go about a foot up and what we'll do is just tie a overhand knot but not tighten it like so so we'll just have a simple overhand knot like that and then we'll take the uh, tag end of the crappie jig and run it through the loop that we made through this overhand knot and we'll kind of cinch it tight okay and what will then happen is, is this line will that's tag end uh, will bring up the crappie jig all the way to the top so it's pretty much right there And then we'll make about a one inch loop and begin making our uni knot. And we'll just go about three, four wraps around it. Give us a second here. Actually, we'll do about four wraps. And we'll pull it tight. What happens then is, is when you cinch down on the uni knot, it tightens up tight against the main line and then at that point we pull on the main line and the jig and bring it down to that overhand knot and cinch it nice and tight and so that gives you about about a couple of inches there for that lead like we had shown earlier and that is it that is the slab and jig rig uh, on the one end where we attach it to our swivel um, we'll just use a perfection loop And that, that is it. Okay, uh, here is the final product. You've got the slab. And then the first crappie jig. About 18 inches from there with that sabiki setup. And then the other one. This is the other. So now we've got two. And then we've got the perfection loop. And uh, that's pretty much it. The slab and jig rig.